Hello, YouTube. Home Team Joe. And as usual, I hope y'all are happy, healthy, and doing well. It's just before 6 a.m. here on the East Coast, and man, I had to get up and address this stuff once again. Before I do, let me show you what I got yesterday, and I'm so excited about. As you may or may not know, my home theater will be broken down in just a matter of days, hours. It's very sad, but before I do, I will be watching this. This is the 4K Steelbook version of not only Heavy Metal, but Heavy Metal 2000, which admittedly is not as good, but it's got some great music. So, why did I order this in 4K? Because, as you know, I'm usually more of a fan of just watching animated films on Blu-ray. Well, they redid the soundtrack on this one, uh, and it is Dolby Trojdy 7.1 in Heavy Metal. Now, Heavy Metal 2000 is still 5.1 DTS still. That's beautiful, whatever. Uh, I am so excited, and I'm going to tell you guys all about it once I get a chance to watch it, hopefully soon. Okay. All right, I made a bunch of notes and stuff, but I'm not exactly sure at all how I want to go about this. So we'll just put down here, let's do this. Yeah. If you don't have a QD OLED, it's okay. Yeah, the YouTube community, man, it's in chaos. Um, and for good reason. I'm going to try to make this as short and sweet as I can. It seems over the past several days, a lot of people have felt the same way I have, which is if you don't have a QD OLED, you're out back. Or if you bought a display last year, you're out back. You screwed up. And you and if it's inside of your return window, you need to take it back and get you a QD OLED because, well, that's the greatest thing since sliced bread. Look, if you want a QD OLED, by all means, go get one. What I have a real problem with is the community here on YouTube, basically telling people that the TVs they've been hyping for the last two or three years, yeah, no, forget about those. Sell them, trade them, you know, whatever. I, it's just, it's not cool. Let me take you back to last year. You remember the A90J in this community? All the hype that went behind the A90J. And it lived up to it, yeah? Great TV, great display. Everyone agrees. It was not the number one display last year. Mm -mm. No, as a matter of fact, it got beat out in the TV shootout by the LG G1. Not in brightness. Color volume. Nobody ever talks about that, though. Why? Because it was the job of certain individuals out here, it seems, to just push the A90J. But this year, the QD OLED comes out, and all of a sudden, every TV out here, it's dropped down a tier, y'all. That's disgusting. That's reckless and irresponsible. I have a C10, I have a C1. They're beautiful. Let me talk about my C1 for a minute. First measurement I, always, I, I, I ever pulled off there was 843 nits. It's 65 inches in my bedroom. It's too bright for a bedroom. I don't like it in there. I'm not going to put it in my living room because I have a 77C10 in there. It is a little brighter than a 77C10. The 77C10 is right now at about 775 nits. I think the last measurement was 778. That's before the new update. I'm sure it's brighter now. 843 nits. That for me, too bright for a dark room. I don't need a thousand minutes. That's fine. I'm sure QD OLED is what is great. Fine. I don't have a problem with QD OLED. I have a problem with influencers or YouTube personalities getting on here and telling everybody that the TVs they just pushed them to buy for the last couple few years, well, they're all junk now. Last night there was a live stream and um, I made a comment in the live stream. They didn't touch it. It's kind of funny because I'm good with all them boys. So whatever. But the live stream was about, I guess some people were feeling bad or they had gotten a lot of backlash 
on what they had been saying. And somebody in particular felt real bad about that. Well, you should. You should feel bad about it. Like, I, I've made mistakes on YouTube. Other people have made mistakes on YouTube. Other people are going to make mistakes on YouTube. It's not a big deal, man. We can move on. But the problem I see with last night in your little live stream was you want to go back on your words, what you said, so everybody doesn't feel bad while simultaneously still saying what you're saying. There's no comparison. Ooh. Yeah, if you're in your return window, blah, 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 man. It's ridiculous. You know, somebody made a comment to me yesterday saying that they'd never seen anyone so mad about the video I dropped that I couldn't afford a QD OLED. I said in that video, I cannot afford to run out here and buy a new TV every single year. What I didn't say was I couldn't afford it. I could get a Q, QD OLED if I wanted one. But I'm not going to be doing that because I don't think it's a good idea. I.E. Samsung Fold Generation 1. I mean, I'm a broken record. I'm just going to keep saying it. I'm extremely disappointed, you know, and there seems to be a lot of uh, contradiction going on here, man. You're talking out of both sides of your mouth at once. A lot of people out here. It's kind of silly. Let me tell you this. QD OLED, yeah, sure, fine, great. You know what the real deal is? The real star of the display world, it's micro LED in 200 plus inch sizes, 100 inch and up, I believe. It's already being put in home theaters, elite home theaters. Those are the only people that can afford it. You know, those are the module panels that you can piece together. Think Samsung's the wall. Yeah, that, that display technology is already here already going up in, you know, the best home theaters in the country. Is that, is micro LED better than QD OLED? Is QD OLED better than micro LED? Is it better than WRGB OLED? I mean, y'all, it's all a preference game. You know, do you like Ford or do you like Chevy? You know, and who really cares? The problem is, when I see people going out here to buy a Samsung QD OLED, I'm not I'm not on YouTube saying, no, oh, you know, LG's the best. Sony's the best. Screw Samsung. Don't buy a QD OLED. That's bad. That's dumb. Also, I'm not out here saying, QD OLED, it's the greatest thing ever. No, 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 man. This is all up to y'all. You can buy it if you want. I don't care if you do. I have just been out here warning people against not only first-gen tech, but Samsung first gen tech, not to mention all the problems Samsung has with their ARC and eARC. So, hey, you know what? It's just what it is. Um, it's all very silly. So at the risk of keeping this video a little shorter, I'm not going to drone on and on about it. I'm just going to say the tomfoolery in this community is astonishing. The lack of self-awareness is astonishing. <laughs> it's not about the TV, man. It's about how you made people feel for buying the TVs that you have pushed for the last two or three years. And then you turn around and tell them all that that's poo. Understandably, people are a little upset. So, uh, yeah, you made your bed, now you gotta lie in it. I'm going to stand behind every remark I've ever made about QD OLED. Not touching Samsung's first gen. Really interested to see what Sony does with their A95K because they'll probably knock that out of the park. Mm -hmm. And that's first gen. Still not going to buy it. Wouldn't think about buying it. Needs to come down in price. Screen sizes need to get bigger. It's a total ploy from Samsung. Uh, here's a, one more point I want to make. They're saying, oh, you better go out here and buy it now because 
they don't have that many panels. You can still buy a brand new 77C10 from Best Buy's website. So I hear all of this, by Black Friday, these panels will be gone. I don't believe that. And I'm going on the record saying it now. Come Black Friday, you'll be able to buy a QD OLED. Come Christmas time, you'll be able to buy a QD OLED. And next year's release for the new model, you'll still be able to buy a 2021 QD OLED. Excuse me, 2022 QD OLED. That's just my prediction. Per usual, I could be wrong. So, I don't know, man. You boys made your bed. Now you got to sleep in it. You're out here trashing and pooing all over people because they don't have a QD OLED the moment it releases, the day it releases. And you're out here on YouTube showing everybody how, how awesome it is, how cool you are because you have it. And everybody else out here is messing up because they don't. And it's absolutely disgusting. It's despicable. And it really pisses off me, as my son would say. So here I am, not calling anybody out by name. You know who you are. You can ignore me all you want. You can ignore my comments. And that's okay. M Maybe I'm making a mistake by doing this video. I'm just so offended, man. And this is this is the last time I'm going to I'm so offended we got people out here saying that, man, if you don't have a QD OLED, you're out back. Your TV sucks. Well, it doesn't really suck. If you have a buy, if you just in a vacuum, it's real cool. But if you put it side by side, it sucks. And you you need to take that back. If you're in your return, when you get a QD OLED. You don't know anything about that QD OLED. First generation tech, man. You don't know what's going to happen with that. By the way, there's already some reports out here that nobody's talking about. That's okay, because we're going to see. A couple of months, we're really going to see. And, hey, I hope QD OLED's great. My problem is the influencers and this community on YouTube telling everybody that their $2,500, whatever TV, just went down a tier. Because why? No, I'm not buying it. My C1 didn't go anywhere. My 77 looks better than it ever has. Let me hear about that in a couple of years. Let's see where Samsung's at with their update process. Oh, by the way, no VRR out of the box, right? Man, you know, at bent panels everywhere. There's some other things going on. But the influencers aren't telling you about it because they're just Fucking hype trains, man. Excuse me. They're ducking hype trains, man. They're just hyping it up. And I'm I'm sick of it. Look, it's 13 minutes in. I didn't need to do this video for this long. Man. Listen. I hope I don't piss anybody off with this. But whatever. My time on YouTube is probably limited. Very limited. So, hey. This last week or so, I've just been saying what I want. Either. Hey, whatever. That's it, man. Like, I'm, I just don't know what else to say about it. I do, but I'm not going to keep droning on. That's my two cents, man. The influencers here on YouTube, you've been screwing up real bad. And you want to come on YouTube and then tell them, oh, I'm so sorry, but I didn't mean to hurt anybody's feelings. I didn't mean to tell you your TV was trash. But if you're still in your return window, you should get that QD OLED. Get out of here, man. Get out of here with that. If y'all want a QD OLED and you can afford it, go do it, man. I don't care. Stop telling people their TVs went down a tier and they're trash because you have a QD OLED. Not cool with it. That's it, man. I'm out. If you have any questions, comments, good, bad, or indifferent, you go ahead and put them down below because I'm not going to ignore you and I'm not going to erase them. As always. Thank you for listening. Be good. Be safe. Boom. Mm -hmm.